The Big Battle Fuji Film XT5 versus Fuji Film X Pro 3. I want to compare and share with you my immediate thoughts after using these two cameras in documenting my Christmas tree decorating activities. So let's talk about this now. Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Tudor Matescu and in this video I want to share with you my direct experience using in hand Fujifilm X-T5 with Fujifilm X-Pro3 for documenting a family event. So when I used this camera side by side I felt something. I felt something. And this is why I want to make this comparison right now because I want to share with you my impressions, my hot impressions regarding the use of these two cameras. Well, we all know that Fujifilm X-T5 is the brand new extraordinary camera from Fuji. And Exposi, it's an old camera. But I had a surprise when using these two cameras side by side. So let's talk first about the ergonomics of these two cameras. As you can see here, I have Fujifilm X-T5 with 80mm f1.4 lens. The new lens from Fujifilm. Well, the balancing of X-T5 with this lens is very, very good. I like very much the screen of Fujifilm X-T5, how it's working in landscape format, but also I like very much the EVF. So X-T5 in hand, in using it with this lens that it's pretty big, but acceptable as size for what you get, is great, great, great. On the other hand, Fujifilm X Pro 3, it's easier on the hand and with this lens also the 35 meters f1.4 it stayed very very well. But the tricky part is that when I've documented this event I've used 80 millimeters f1.4 on X Pro 3 and 35 meters f1.4 on Fujifilm X-T5. Why I've done that? Because from my experience with previous 35 meters f1.4 on X Pro C, it was possible to have some missed focuses. So I wanted a good AF lens on Fujifilm X Pro 3 and an old lens on Fujifilm X-T5. Well, this package X-T5 with 35 meters f1.4 and X Pro C with 18 meters f1.4 were great, 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 great. So, 18 meters f1.4 and I'm telling you now when I'm holding X Pro C is balancing very well on X Pro C. So the balancing part of X Pro C it's very well made. It's very well made. The, the grip it's also very very good. But there is a tricky tricky important stuff that I really need to add and I can't show you because it's a feeling stuff. So I'm putting my hand on these both cameras. Well the amazing part is that X Pro 3 is feeling more premium in the hand. It's feeling more premium in the hand. And this was my big shock. I know that the dials of X-T5 are plastic, unfortunately. But when changing the dials from X-T5 and changing and making settings on my Fujifilm X Pro 3, the shock was very, very persistent because I was feeling here the metal layout and the metal buttons that titanium layouts and here the plastics and here the plastics. On X Pro 3 the clicks are nicer, the, the camera is it's more fun to use in hand, in hand. So regarding ergonomics and the way of using X Pro 3 tete a tete with uh, Fujifilm X-T5, I don't know, I felt that X-T5 lose a little bit regarding feeling in the hand. And Feeling in the hand is important, is important. I'm really sorry that Fujifilm didn't opt for metal dials and not for plastic dials. The dials are sturdy, are good, they are staying and they are doing the job. But when you put your hand on X-Pro 3 on this metal grip and with these metal dials, 
you really feel the difference. If you don't have these cameras side by side, and if you don't have this experience in real world use, you will not observe that X-T5 is premium enough, but x -Pro c again, it's keeping it very, very well. So the next part that it's very important has to do with the weight. Well, X-T5 in the hand with light lenses like this one, 35 meters f1.4 is light in the hand. You don't feel the weight of the entire package but when you will put the 18 mm f1.4 you will feel that uh, weight a little and it's possible that weight to make you not want to use a bigger lens but the advantage here it's again that with small lenses fuji chrome lenses or fuji old lenses the camera is working great and the image quality again is great now, comparing the dials, comparing the ergonomics and the operation of these two cameras. Well, I really like to shoot with the optical viewfinder. The experience is great, especially for family moments, because you don't have to chimp on the screen and you can review the pictures later. But what I discovered by using this camera side by side is that I like more, I like more the ergonomics of the dials of Fujifilm X-T5. So I really like the fact that I can lock them and I can change the ISO very fast and with the aperture ring, I can control my exposure very, very fast. And coming to X-Pro3, well, when I want to change the ISO, it's a pain. When I want to change the ISO with this beautiful metal dial, it's a pain. So I really do feel that in the future X Pro 4, they need to address this dial, this ISO dial, put two dials or make an implementation like on X100V. But especially if they will bring in X Pro 4 two dials like on XT5, then it's a worse upgrading. But till then, yes, I do prefer more the ergonomics and these separate dials of X-T5. So the ergonomics regarding the dials that are helping you to control the exposure is very, very good on Fujifilm X-T5. Now let's talk a little about image quality. I will not enter in an in-depth review of image quality because my overall impression is that Fujifilm X-T5 is bringing the best, the best that you can get from your Fujifilm lenses and the best that you can get from your Fujifilm film recipes and film simulations, JPEGs, and also RAW files with any lens that you use on X-T5. So yes, I do feel the difference in quality when using X-T5 versus X-Pro3. Also, the quality of X-Pro3 is good, it's comparable, it's close, but when you look at the pictures on the big screen or side by side, you will feel that this is more, this is more, this is almost as full frame quality. The tonalities, the gradation, the color, it's more, I can't, this is it. Even if I've used x -Pro -C with this beautiful sharp lens, full of resolution, color and detail, I really do feel the power of image quality when I'm using X-T5. So which camera did I like more to use? Well, I've enjoyed both cameras, but, but, Yes, I do enjoy more X Pro C. I do enjoy it more. And I was thinking to sell my X Pro 3, but probably we will see when X Pro 4 will arrive. Because again, the experience of using X Pro C is beautiful. But if you want top notch ergonomics, best ergonomics for photography, and best image quality from Fujifilm, then XT5 is for you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe now, now, now to my channel because I will post more content like this about photography tips and tricks and camera comparisons. Also, please check my affiliate links to support my channel if you want to buy some of the gear that I use. And also, please check my membership part of my YouTube channel where I am showing you how I'm using x in documenting streets and different events. Thank you a lot and I will talk to you soon. Bye bye.